Instead of asking how y'all doing tonight, uh, like everybody's been doing, how about y'all ask me how I'm doing tonight? <laughs> I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I'm a little hungry. Um, but I'm good, thank you for asking. So I'm gonna do a little something different. Um, this is called uh, Painting with Sound. All right, so we're gonna get creative. I'll move this one out of the way. It's a little different, but uh, I think you might like it. Let me tell the story. Funny looking, funny looking chicken. 
So they just, so they just, so they just walked around it. They started talking chicken shit. And finally, the eagle just got up and just said, all right, I'm here. And just looked around and just compared himself to the other chickens. And he just started to figure out, all right, if this is where I'm at, I'm going to do what they do. So he started walking like a chicken. He started eating like, like a chicken. Just basically doing chicken shit. This is how he learned. And all the other chicks would go out around and call them names and like, hey, you funny, man, you funny looking about to pick on him. Because he was huge. But it was a baby. And there was a it was his main chicken, they called him Carlos. Carlos would walk around with his chest out. You know, he'd walk up to the chicken, like, hey, hey homes, what coop you from? And was, hey, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just here. Hey, you a funny looking chicken, homes. You got your, your, your feathers all weird in you. Your nose is all funny, man. What's wrong with you, huh? Hey, look, man, I'm just trying to live my best life. That's all I'm trying to do. All right, well, come with me, man. I'm going to show you how to do it. But don't, don't you ever call me a chicken, man. I'm a rooster. So I do what roosters do. So he walk a little chest out, little, little, little Carlos. He doesn't do shit. Sometimes he walk like this. And a little baby eagle will follow Carlos. I'm going to do what Carlos do because he seems to know how life is figured out on this, on this end. Now, you do what I do. You walk like I walk, you're going to make it through here. What we want to do, we want to eventually go to the promised lands, huh? He's like, what's the promised land? The promised land is Kentucky, huh? We're going to make it there. And if you walk strong like me, you get tough, you get your muscles, they're going to come and we go to the promised land, huh? All right, give me five. Blah. It's like, all right, cool. So time got on and little baby eagle, he got stronger. He got bigger. Eventually, he was just like, he was bigger than everybody in the chicken coop. He was like the man. And Carlos was like, yeah, that's my homeboy right here, yeah. I know it looks funny, don't, they don't look, and yeah, you fuck with him, you fuck with me, homie. They were buddies, just pals. Until one day, they were sitting back in the chicken coop. All of a sudden, they saw this huge, huge bird in the sky, right? And everybody looked up, and some of them didn't look up, some kind of ignored it, but little baby eagle, he looked up into the skies like, oh, yo, Carlos, Carlos, yo, 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 what the is that? And the shadow cast all over the whole farm. Carlos, ah, don't worry about him, man. That's just a bald eagle, man. He's just always flying over, doing his thing. He's showing off, man. Don't worry about that. You can't fly, man. You're down here with us with those chickens. I'm sorry, roosters. Don't worry about that. It's none of your concern, homes. You with us. All right. But something about that, that thing, that, what was that? He went about his life doing other chicken shit, but eventually he just had, he had to know what that was. Because something inside him said that there's a purpose in that. Until the day came, the big, huge truck from Kentucky pulled up to the farm, and everybody was excited. Everybody got their feathers off. Everybody's excited because they're going to Kentucky, the promised land. Carlos just walked there for hey, homes. I know they're going to pick me this time, huh? Last time I was too small, but now I'm big enough, they're going to pick me, homes. I guarantee it because I'm a rooster, homes. <laughs> for some reason, baby Eagles, he was like, nah, I don't feel right about this shit. So, Something in my spirit says, that's not my faith. And everybody was so excited. So the man was just picking them up. The chicken just talking. Just tossing them. And everybody was excited to go to the promised land. Except for a little man. And they finally grabbed Carlos. Carlos, all right, homes. Going to Kentucky, man, let's go. And he yelled out to his friend, baby eagle. He's like, yo. Yo, where you going? Get in the truck, homes. Nah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go back to the coop. I can't go. Yo, what you doing, man? We're going to the promised land. We're going to Kentucky, man. They got 11 herbs and spices and everything, homes. What's wrong with you? He just started running. And the man came after him. He kept chasing him the whole time. He started running. He started running. He couldn't run that because his legs were small, you know? And eventually, Air started hitting up under his arms. All of a sudden, he 
took flight. He just took flight and just First flying high. You know how I feel. Sun and sky. You know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by. You know how I feel. It's a new dawn. It's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. More of the story is, yes. Hang out with the chickens. You could even grow up with the chickens. Sometimes you can get caught doing some chicken shit. But if you were eagle, and you know you were eagle, eventually you're gonna have to take flight.